Um, so it's no secret startups and entrepreneurs are the backbone of our economy. They come in many different shapes and sizes, whether you're running a tech startup from Singapore or a pizza joint from Chicago, the pathway to becoming a corporate is not linear. At the same time, the banking needs for these businesses are dramatically changing, but they're not being met by banks today. Uh, my name is Jeremy. I'm the co-founder of Arrival Bank, and we deliver the best banking experience for businesses and entrepreneurs. Two years ago, I made this crazy decision, almost a blind leap of faith to move to Singapore, um, really with no job offers on the table. And two years later, I'm proud to say, not only have I personified the beginning of my fintech career, Forbes just named me one of the top 30 under 30 fintech entrepreneurs in the world. But above all, we're one step away from becoming the go-to banking solution for SMEs globally. Um, Arrival is a digital banking platform for startups, freelancers, and other type of businesses and we're a rival for traditional banks who are unwilling to serve these new generations of businesses and entrepreneurs. Um, our story started two years ago when our fintech venture capital fund in Singapore was approached by hundreds of different businesses coming to us with the same problem. Banks were freezing, closing, and not giving them access to the banking system. The more research we did, we identified this entire spectrum of underbanked businesses whether they're tech startups, freelancers, expats, charity organizations, the list goes on and on and on. I think in Singapore, it's, it's known that over 99% of all businesses are small to medium sized. There's over 200,000 SMEs in Singapore that are looking for innovative financial solutions on the market. We are building a FinTech bank that helps these types of businesses manage their finances more effectively. And moreover, we give them access to different qualitative FinTech products and tools on the market. There's several key elements of what we say when we're talking about a FinTech bank, first of which is that we are going for our own banking license. Second is that we're powered by open APIs, meaning we can bundle some of the best FinTechs on the market. At the end of the day, we wanna provide a customized and tailored product line for small business owners to successfully help them operate day to day. Um, I'll give you guys five reasons to invest to keep it brief and, and exciting. First, our team is kick-ass. In 2012, we launched Life Sarita. It's one of the first fintech-focused venture capital funds in Asia, based in Singapore. So before arrival, we've invested as a team into over 20 fintech companies across the world. We've had nine exits. Four of those nine exits are coming from other digital banks from Europe and from the U.S., so needless to say, we have a very strong footprint in this space coming initially from the venture capital world. Um, we've really contributed to the ecosystem in Singapore. Um, in 2012, FinTech was very much in its infancy. So we've helped build it into arguably one of the FinTech hubs of the world, not just through investments, but through workshops, through research, our annual FinTech report that you see here, Money of the Future. It's read by over 50,000 readers year over year. Um, we've run accelerators and incubators and gone through the whole life cycle of the startup world here in Singapore. So we're, we're very active members of the community. Um, in fact, before arrival, we, we wrote a book called The First FinTech Banks Arrival, describing our vision, describing our concept, which I'll talk about momentarily. And we presented our concept in this book at some of the top business schools in the world, like Wharton Business School in Pennsylvania and NCAD right here in Singapore. Um, I think you can look at the digital banking market today and see how saturated and crowded it is more for digital banks that are focusing on retail and individual customers. However, where the opportunity exists today is right here on the top right. What digital banks are going to exclusively target these types of underbanked businesses and entrepreneurs that I mentioned before, the tech startups, the freelancers, the charity organizations, et cetera. If you look at the SME market, it's getting hotter and hotter. So we, we've spent a lot of time doing our research and analysis and, and most of the digital banks today um, that are focusing on SMEs, although it's quite small, they launch without their own license and they only compete through pricing and fees where we are going for our own license. We've made compliance one of our differentiators and the fact that we want to bundle and part, partner with some of the best fintechs in the market, we think really differentiates us. From the beginning, we knew that compliance had to be our secret sauce. 
So we, we think compliance is sexy. Um, and when we started, we looked at it kind of from like a holistic approach. So right now it's very restricted in terms of borders. It's too old fashioned and time consuming. So AID is our completion. Um, it's going to be one of our revenue streams. And we've been approached by over 10 banks that are interested in using it. Um, we've won awards for our banking platform. So there's really two key products, one being AID, our compliance engine. The second being our banking platform, where we won best of show at Finnovate. It's like the Oscars of FinTech. Um, and our banking platform is unique because we want to bundle and integrate third-party FinTechs on the market. So small business owners have access to them in one banking interface. They never have to leave Arrival, and they have access to some of the top FinTechs on the market um, inside Arrival. Um, lastly, we've applied for licenses in the U.S. We've applied for licenses in Singapore for digital banking, and now we're applying in the EU. In fact, we expect to go live in the next month. We've raised over $3 million to date, um, and we expect to announce a big Series A round later this year of 10 to $15 million USD. Um, so this is where we are today. We've developed the product, we have a team, and we have the timing to become one of the leading digital banks for SMEs globally. And that's where I'll stop.